How you doing guys? Uh, I want to show you this um, very reasonably priced, like $5 reasonably priced with free shipping on Amazon. They did not send this to me. I had to purchase this with my own money. Uh, Trader Joe, my good friend Trader Joe showed me uh, his and for five bucks I had to check it out and I think it's cool enough to tell you guys about it. So this was from Japan. This is a craft knife. I have no idea. Olafa? Alpha? Olfa? I don't know. So it's a cheap craft knife, uh, like five bucks. It took about three or four weeks to come in, and it does have replaceable blades. It did not come with a replacement, but you can buy them on Amazon. So this was around five bucks, I think like five sixteen from Amazon, free shipping. And then you can get two replacement blades for like five seventy, so under six bucks, and you get two more replacement blades. I should have ordered some blades when I ordered this, but I just thought it was cool. It's like a a craft knife that's uh, thicker than your standard like exacto blade it has a little bit thicker grind on it I do feel like I could resharpen it um, but from using this knife I never carried it but I definitely used it so there's how it works you can take this little brass screw thing slide it you can only have that much and then tighten it down right or you can slide it all the way out but I, I did use it I uh, just recently, just the other day, uh, our dryer stopped spinning. Now I knew the button wasn't broken because if you set the timer and hit the button, you could hear the motor like trying to pull, you know, and then it would cut off. So I knew something was jamming up that motor. So I had suspicion that something uh, worked its way through the barrel and wrapped around the motor. Well, that's exactly what happened. One of my wife's dresses, the string come out and wrapped around that motor. So I grabbed this knife, exactly what it's made for, you know, just tasks that you don't want to beat up a good edge, something this, you know, something disposable that I could reach in there and just start cutting out that string that was wrapped around the pulley. Worked perfectly. It's a sturdy blade, you know, still thin. It cuts nice. It cuts a lot like a Kiridashi. Kiridashi, I don't know how you say that, but with the flat, like, um, warm cleft style blade there you can just tell it's very Japanese design like a I wouldn't even say folding there's nothing that folds it's like a kiridashi that slides in and out of a, a one piece handle that wraps around it's a cool design uh, mine did not come very sharp and did not hold an edge very long I cut some cardboard and stuff uh, I guess it's like a utility, yeah, but I wouldn't say that it's anything extra special as far as blade steel. They don't say. It's just stainless from Japan. You see it's got the regular grind and then some sort of polish on there. I'm going to try to resharpen it and get some few more uses out of this blade, and then I'm going to order some more blades. I just figured uh, I would show you guys, because it, it does feel pretty decent in your hand. It's thin. You're not going to want to be going out and trying to survive with this knife. But around the house, um, little utility knife, uh, I think is a pretty good uh, option, you know, especially for five bucks. So, works good. Uh, it's good for a shop knife, good for something to just to throw, uh, you know, in your toolbox, maybe in your fishing kit. Although you certainly wouldn't want to, you know, dress any fish or anything with this. Utility, some sort of cutting. I've been cutting tape and stuff with it. Uh, you can open boxes, all, all the stuff that you would think a little utility knife like this would be useful for. It, it is. It's good. Worth the five bucks. Uh, not, not much more to say about it. It is as advertised. Thanks for letting me know about it, Joe. Looks like you could hang a little lanyard on the back here and maybe hang it on a, a pegboard somewhere in your shop. And that way you always have something that you can beat up on and not beat up your precious paramilitary too. <laughs> no, I don't know what you're carrying. Some of you might be carrying that knife. But anyways, anything that would save that edge. I wouldn't want to cut that string off the pulley with uh, one of my good knives, you know, slamming it into the edge. 
that metal pulley, you can see a few dings and stuff there. I'm going to try to resharpen it, see what happens. There it is, the Olfa. Olfa. Olfa? I don't know. There is almost no English on this at all. They show it sharpening pencils, doing construction work. Pretty cool. Alright. Thanks a lot, guys. See ya.